So day three at sea. We are continuing our tour. We're in the Solarium Bistro right here. And um, again, this is early afternoon. Uh, Probably around lunchtime, I, I don't remember. I'm trying to look at the timestamps on the video, but I made some alterations to them and that doesn't help me because the timestamp got changed, so. That would be the Gulf of Mexico. Yep, we are on our way to Cozumel first, and then Pistabaya. And so we are right now, at this point in, in the true cruise, we're going around Cuba. And uh, you're actually going to see something coming up a little bit later on in the clip here, where uh, Cuba kind of plays into a little bit in an unexpected way. So I'm just sort of doing a little tour around the solarium. And uh, that's the bistro down there. Um, What they do here is they use this area for uh, like late night parties. And on this particular cruise, there was supposed to be at least one, maybe two parties. That, you know, they, these ones where they start at like 11 o'clock at night, they bring in a special celebrity DJ. Which they're not a celebrity because nobody knows who they are. I have a qualm with that. But, um, but they, uh, they, they use that area right there where the bar is set the DJ up over there and just do like a late night party. Well, I think we missed one of them that was earlier in the cruise, and then the second party was supposed to be on Friday night of the cruise, and this is a Sunday to Sunday cruise. And we go up there Friday night, and there's nobody there at the start time, and uh, it was kind of a mess. It was like, okay, where's the party? We're here, so... is the Pinnacle Club. Got to be a VIP to get up there. So that's the Pinnacle Lounge up there, and you have to be... You have to have something special on your CPAS card in order to get up there. So... Here we are, uh, just outside the solarium. Large hot tubs there on the side of the ship. One on each side. Those things are huge. They'll hold probably... 20 people, maybe 30 people, I don't know. I've never been in it. So to get to the sky bridge, you have to go past people's cabins on deck 14. It's a little weird, but it's the only way here. So making our way to the sky bridge. Deck 14 all the way forward. It's a little weird, like I was saying right there, you have to go through a section of cabins to get to it, but... And of course it's windy, so I have the uh, usual problems with the wind on the microphone. whole crew area down there. They have like a little bar and everything. We saw it on one of the previous uh, all access tours on the Allure of the Seas. And since this ship is the same as the Allure,
now we're deck 14 aft. Little area of the ship I never knew this existed back here. The card room. And it turns out, uh, I don't know if you can see it through the door there, but there are also uh, printers and computers back in there. 14 at the rear. And if you have to print a boarding pass for like, let's say a flight, that's where you have to do it. Which I've never had to do that before. One of the friends, one of our friends on this cruise had to print his boarding pass for his flight. And it turns out that's where he had to go to do it. So we're sort of making our way back towards the sports deck. Um, but I decided to take a little detour over here when I saw the, uh, the diving equipment. So I stopped in and talked to them earlier in the cruise about the program. And um, you, can learn, you can learn how to be a certified diver. It's a couple hundred dollars. And there's a part of it that you can do before you even come on the cruise. And then while you're on the cruise, they'll do a couple of dives with you in one of the swimming pools. And basically by the end of the cruise, you could be certified to, to go scuba diving. Again, here we are heading kind of back towards the back of the ship. And then this comes up with this bird over here. Peregrine Falcon. Apparently he's all the way out from Cuba, which we're just kind of passing by Cuba over there. It's a couple of miles off the off the port side of the ship. So we're almost done with this video. Coming up in the next video, it'll be our final one for day three at sea. And we'll do our tour of the sports deck in the aft of the ship. So stay tuned. That's a Cuban Paragon Falcon. It's a long way from home. No, he's not. right there. <laughs> Still, that's a hell of a fly back home. Got enough energy to get back home. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Just click on my picture right above the subscribe logo.